With PubGuru Ad Inspector, you can quickly analyze any website's advertising setup and gain a complete understanding of the page load performance across all of your ad partners. Put it, you need to have the Chrome extension turned on. So once you have this, just toggle and it will ask you to refresh the page. It will give you a summary at first, shows you the errors, warnings, and those that are working fine. The first time you're using it, or if you are on incognito or private browsing mode, it's going to require a request for your email address. All you need to do is input your email and click on Get Insights Now. You will then have this user interface right here, which you can resize as you wish. You have different tabs. Dash will show you an overview of everything that's going on on this website you're visiting. And here, you can also turn on the ad overlay. Notice how it changes here for this ad. I turn it off, I turn it on. Then you will have the direct link to open the line item and open the creative to see which one or which advertiser or bidder is serving this ad. And here, you're gonna see the ad tech detected version and the configuration name. If you're just using pre-bid or plain DFP tags, you will see that results in here as well. So if there's any error or warning detected, you can expand it and we will tell you or show you what that means and you will also have a link to a blog that will tell you how to address or fix it. Let me show you that in action. For example, I'll expand bitter warnings that I can see here. Expand it further. We have the description and there's the link on how to fix it. Now the Add Units tab will show you the status in the Add Unit level. You can visualize here what's going on in every ad unit you're running on this site. You also have the direct link to open the creative or open the line item. The Bidders tab will show you what's going on in the bidder level. If they made it to the timeout and how many seconds it took for them to respond with a bid, what was the CPM, the size, and of course, which ad unit they bid for. You will also get a GDPR tab. This will detect if there's anything in your code that's not GDPR compliant. And of course, it includes a recommendation on how to code it properly. Ads.txt tab will show you errors or warnings on your ads.txt page. It can detect any typo or errors poorly formatted ads.txt lines. Timeline will show you the series of events that took place on the page. The number of milliseconds it took for, let's say, for us to send out the ad request, when we received the bids, and up to the time when the ads are rendered. Settings tab will show you your production settings or the current settings on your header bidding implementation. This allows you to run some emulation, like for example, you want to observe how the site behaves if you're going to override the timeout. That then gives you a test page without changing the live settings. Logs tab is where everything, all the information is dumped into. This includes information about AppNexus bidders, about CoinHive or crypto jacking if it's happening or detected behind the scenes and everything else. And you can also filter it by ad units, bidders, DFP, and others. In short, Logs contains all the information that may or may not be available on any of these other tabs in here. The good news is this is also optimized on mobile. So you can use it on any of your devices. This version is still on beta, so please expect a lot of optimization improvements on this tool and we hope you enjoy it as much as we do keep your feedback coming we'd love to hear from you guys thanks for joining us today we hope you enjoyed our presentation also learn to monetize more by watching our tutorial series and reading our latest ad optimization tips please subscribe to our blog to receive periodic updates thanks we'll catch you next time